What's up, YouTube? This is Gene Sarah Steve coming to you live from uh, beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. It's about 110 degrees or so today. Um, so I'm gonna make this video. First thing I would like to say is a uh, big congratulations to my brother from another mother, Young Static. Um, he's reached over 100,000 subscribers. That's huge. He he's, works hard at it and shares his knowledge and he's just a people person, so he definitely deserves it. Uh, next thing I would like to say is uh, just order these guys uh, from HondaParchNow.com. These are the um, the little screw mounts for the uh, where the cow goes. Um, they just dip right in here, so I will be um, installing those onto. Um, did you guys see that? <laughs> I don't even know if this is that, but he did right here. Uh, um, so I will be installing those so I can install the cow on the Y49 project, which is still kind of alive. Um, I've been starting the motor and it's there's a lot of smoke, so I may have to uh, rebuild it. And rings may be bad, um, and I gotta bleed the brakes still. So that'll be uh, an eventual project. But today's video is about uh, um, integrated control units. So the integrated control unit is this guy here, which is mounted on the back of the um, fuse box, which is on the left lower dash um, to the left side of the steering column. So it helps to control the, the wiper speed, the, uh, the door locks, the door chimes, the dome light, um, and a few other things. So it's, it's pretty important. Um, on a lot of our cars, the integrated control unit is burning out and causing some issues just because it's three decades old. Um, so I'm gonna go over removal of the unit first. So let me just tilt the camera down here. And then I just need a flathead screwdriver. There's two clips on the, or one clip on the top and one clip on the bottom. So you just, just be careful. Just pry the sides out and then you can slide the, um, integrated control unit uh, right out from the fuse um, body and so and then now we have two clips on that side and two clips on the other side and then just pry with the flathead on both sides just being gentle make sure you don't break anything and then you have the actual uh, board here and then you can just slide that out um, so on this one, it looks pretty good. There's a few little burnt spots. It's the blackened areas. And the front side of the board looks good too. So then when you're done with that, just um, find the little clips on the top here. Push that back in. And work your body in. And then you just coordinate the clip there. And something's stopped me right here. There we go. All right, and then that's that. So there are two different models. You have the A model here, which is 386000SH3A011-M1. A is normally for um, the lower model, uh, like cars, like the HF or the uh, STD hatch. Um, and then you have the B model here, which is 386SH3A111-M1. Um, so I did want to show you uh, a good board versus a bad bo board. And so I actually have a good condition. ICU, which I will be keeping for a little bit and as you can tell here inside the housing you can tell that there's a few burnt spots and so if you look at the actual board on the front right here in this area this uh, little module there is all burnt up and then you can just confirm on the back side that's burnt there and burnt here and then the good one, which I just picked up from the yard, 
and when I was in Salt Lake City. Good one is nice and shiny and green on the back there, and there's no burnt areas on the front. So, all in all, if you do start having wiper issues or dome light issues, I would uh, definitely check the grounds first in your car. Make sure you don't have any rats eating up your harness or anything like that. Um, and then you may try to swap out your ICU with a known good one and to see if that solves your problems. Um, besides that, as always, I hope this video helps one person. If you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. Um, Remember to uh, subscribe to the homies, EF Static, uh, John Martin Bryant, EF Buddies, um, Honda, Garage Belt Hondas, Lazy Man Garage, and everybody else out there. Thank you for watching this video and for supporting. Um, and as always, keep the EFs on the road. Peace.